how to fix server error on ipad hi everyone welcome back to our channel i am bimal from genie guide in today's guide video i will show you the way on how you can fix the server error for ipad but before we get started with the video if you are new to our channel do make sure to leave a like hit that subscribe button and without any further ado let's get started with today's video now sometimes the issue could simply be that whenever you open up settings and then you simply try to log into your Apple ID, it would say the error that says unable to connect to server or there was a problem connecting to the server and so on. So there are a couple of things which you can do. The very first thing we can do is to simply actually scroll down and then go to the option which says general on the left hand side of the screen. Once you go to the general option, you'll see all sorts of various options. I want you to simply go ahead and then go to the option that says date and time. So just go ahead and select date and time. Once you go to date and time, you want to make sure that you have turned on the toggle next to set automatically. Because I always recommend you to set your automatic date and time because it is definitely the more accurate. And other thing what I also want you to do is to simply turn off the toggle next to 24 hour time. Now what you could do is you could simply turn off this toggle and you'll get time in the 12 hour format. So basically you can use 24 hour time if you want or you can use the 12 hour time. See which of those fixes the issue. And in most cases that would simply fix the problem because in most cases your ipad is not being able to connect to the server due to date and time issues if you're too far behind on date if, you, if you're too fast forward on date as well both of the issues is not going to connect your ipad to the internet connection if that doesn't help i would recommend you to come back and then go to the section which is software update once you go to software update if there are any type of updates available i want you to simply go ahead and up update your ipad or your iphone to the latest version and most likely that will also fix the issue and hopefully this video answered your question we hope the video was really helpful if it did help you make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have any more questions queries or doubts simply also make sure to leave them down below thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video